Dear Robert, I hope for half of them will be answered today in at least. Dear guests, participants and organizers of the 10th anniversary conference, ladies and gentlemen. This year we are meeting in a unique context as Europe learns to live in a new reality. Terrorist Russia, terrorist Russia. By the way, more and more parliaments uh, of the democratic world uh, describe Russia as a terroristic state. But Lithuania was the first one, remember, who voted for the resolution that I have presented. Okay, terrorist Russia, in pursuit of its imperial illusions, has not only started a bloody war in Ukraine, but also an energy war against Europe. This is not only a challenge, but also an opportunity. Significant geopolitical breakthrough. Europe free from fossil fuels, whether imported from Russia or imported in general, depends on our will and on our unity. In the short term, we need to look for partners of alternative energy supply and learn to economize. But there is only one strategic solution a definitive switch to renewable energy. This would not only make us energy dependent, but also tackle the problem of climate change. Acceleration of the synchronization of the Baltic electricity networks with continental Europe and its completion ahead of schedule is one of the most important tasks. An interconnected and integrated regional energy market is essential to resist Russia's blackmail and to ensure uninterrupted energy supplies and affordable prices for our consumers. Having in mind energy security, we need to build on Ukraine's experience. The diversification of energy sources and the ability to change rapidly is as important as having reserves to counter the blackmail of the enemy. After all, as the Nord Stream pipeline blast has demonstrated, for Russia any ways and means are possible to achieve its goals, which is why it is important to protect our strategic energy facilities. This is topical for Lithuania, which has undertaken to ensure an uninterrupted supply of natural gas from diversified and reliable energy sources. The Klaipeda LNG terminal is operating at full capacity, ensuring gas supply to Lithuania and its neighbors. It is also important to preserve our unit, which is also targeted by Putin. High energy prices are causing not only economic, but also political and social tensions. At this time, it is particularly important to provide people with as much clarity as possible, as well as to strengthen cooperation between the countries <coughs> of the Baltic Sea region and to find new ways to help each other. Let us take inspiration from the defenders of Ukraine who demonstrate the unity is the most important weapon we have today. It is like a shield to defend ourselves against any bad. Whatever difficulties we may face, they cannot amount to the bleeding wounds of Ukraine. As Ukraine fights for its freedom and ours, this winter we desperately need to maintain strategic patience and unity, holding on to the belief that this might be the last winter of the Putin's regime. Thank you. Thank you very much. For They will be, you know, reality.